Logroño y City by Nathaniel Curry. Physical context. In the Google Earth image on the top of the screen, you can see that Logroño is a city located in northern Spain. Logroño is the capital of the La Rioja district, which is an autonomous, autonomous district with a population of just under 200,000 people. The image to the lower right is a closer up of Logroño and displays the northwest orientation of the proposed eco city development. An even closer image is an overlay of the eco city on the current site northwest of Logroño. It sits along the river and is bookshelved by two large hills one to the northwest, one to the southeast. In this video, prepared by architecture firm MVRDV out of Belgium, we will discover the site and some of the major urban planning components proposed for this amazing project. The Cardinal Compass orients to the north to the northwest hill in the project. Looking back over the river towards the city, the current site is dry and desolate with an arid climate not unlike Salt Lake cities. This graphic displays the number of solar panels needed to provide over 100% up to 130% of the energy needed for the project. Now as they add the actual physical components, such as water, topography challenges, green open space that they propose, you'll see that the percentage number of the solar panels actually goes down. As we reorient our view to the northwest again, we can see that the total solar panels will provide 57% of the overall energy needed, with 43% being supplemented by wind. The gray line that's being drawn is one of the most unique features of the EcoCity project. The gray line represents where the structures will go. And we just saw the topographic lines being drawn. This current rendering shows the amount of density needed in order for the project to be successful. However, the view planes would not be optimal either for the city or for the residents of the new project. The genius design is that they split the building in half and will actually take the lower elevation portion of the building and place it underground. This provides for a two-tiered structure that is infinitely adaptable based on the needs, whether it be school, residential, commercial, or public use. The lower portion of the structure will have green roof and park, along with recreational facilities, all connected to the upper half by the bridges as you can see. Funiculars are planned along key points to assist people in getting up and down the steep terrain. And finally we see that solar panels will be added to the buildings themselves along with recreational facilities in a very self-contained, small footprint, linear, sustainable city. Some of the project design elements. The large image to the left, you can see a scale of what automobiles will be versus people. A cross section of apartments. The middle white to the right, you can see a cross section again that shows the drastic topogra topographical differences. Along with renderings of the overall project once completed, the solar panels, wind farms, and below, the bridges that connect the recreational areas and green roofs of the lower portions of the building with the residential and shopping districts on top. The development context of this, again, the site location is in the city of Logroño in España. 
The cost to the developer when proposed was 428 million euros on a site of 56 hectares. The building footprint is only 6 hectares. And the architects, again, are MBRDV from Belgium. The project timeline is short. There was a competition held which MVRDV won in 2007. The government of La Rioja gave the green light in 2008, shortly before the world economic collapse. It is currently estimated that they will break ground sometime next year. Here are some stunning images for the proposed eco-city. The top, the overall architectonics and ecotones match and blend in well with the arid conditions found in northern Spain. Bottom left, you can see images of the photovoltaics that will produce up to 57% of the total energy needs of the buildings. Bottom center is a proposed winery, and bottom right we see what it may look like at people at play and recreation along the structures. The rating for the popularity and use for EcoCity in Logroño must receive a fail for now as construction is set to commence in 2013. Currently the site is used for mountain bikes and motocross. The imageability and memorability rating must also receive a fail. While the renderings are stunning in their adaptive use of the existing topography, no part of the plan has been implemented and the city of Logroño sitting on the other side of the river has nothing to look at yet other than a dusty road. Project sustainability will be a success, guaranteed. 73% of the total area has been designated as open space due to the linear and long design of the structures. The north-south orientation of not only the structures but also the photovoltaics provides for maximum exposure of the sunlight. Massive installations of the solar panels and wind turbines will be constructed not only in the green space but also as part of the structures themselves. Solar panels alone will eliminate over 3,500 tons of carbon emissions. Now to the design lessons for EcoCity Logroño. The distance from the city center of Logroño, just under two miles, doesn't seem much, but it will call for better public transportation infrastructure connecting to the new EcoCity to the northwest. The second design lesson is that specific and purposeful design orientations of the structures along with the strategic placement of wind turbines and photovoltaics dramatically reduce the carbon footprint of the project. There are few projects that I have seen with this sensibility so ingrained in the initial plans. And finally we arrive at design lesson three. The diverse programming and density of the plan structures greatly increases and enhances the site's available green spaces, allowing not only for residents of the new eco-city to enjoy, but most assuredly La Rioja and Logroño as a region.